this video um, I'm going to attempt to show you how to um, take purchase designs and put them onto your embroidery machine for the memory craft 9700 when I first purchased this machine I was purchased secondhand the lady mainly used it for sewing she only used inbuilt embroidery design so she never actually purchased a design and put it into the machine and wanted to embroider it out uh, I wanted to be able to purchase designs and put it on the machine to embroider out so I had to do some research to find out how to do that um, and I found out what I needed and had my luckily tech savvy husband who helped me out and we found that we needed to get the compact flash adapter and compact flash well these um what are they called um flash drive okay um and once put together they then slot into the side of the machine here there's a slot and then push that in and then we could get the designs off of here onto the machine okay then we had this down we also needed to get the designs from our computer onto the flash drive so we needed what's called here a card reader this card reader reads all different kinds of flash drives it's in this case the F drive so that just slots into there and when it's operating um, a red light will come on there to say that it's working and we had to get the cord and all of that kind of stuff as well so to get your design onto the flash drive you download your um, design from wherever you purchased it from for the Janome machines the extension is Jeff JEF so usually um, you'll get them for every machine that's all the different ones here so that's the one we want so we right click copy then we take it to our removable disk F which is the, for the card reader so you go into there then it comes up with e EMBF5 EMBF5 or order number five or hashtag five now in order to get this you have to format the disc now from what I can remember when we first purchased the flash drives if you put it into the adapter and put it in the machine and turn it on it will format the disc so that it knows that it's going to be used for embroidery files and that's what the EMBF means so whenever you're going to put a file on there you have to put it inside the EMBF file so I'm going to right click and paste so therefore the, that file will be in here so if I double click there's it's a lip balm holder so therefore the file is there so now that file is on here so I take it out of here put it into the compact flash adapter and then put it into the machine like so all right so we're going to turn it on now and we're going to try and retrieve that file onto the machine so we'll turn it on and wait for it to warm up again that awkward silence <laughs> okay there we go okay when you first turn the machine on it always goes into like sewing machine mode okay we want to go from sewing machine mode into embroidery mode so we hit this button here and it makes it go into the embroidery mode now these are all your inbuilt so that first one says they're all your inbuilt, inbuilt designs the next one is for lettering if you wanted to write names and things like that the third one is what we're looking for is the compact disc compact disc it's the um yeah flash drive so we hit that one and it's thinking and always says don't take out the flash drive while it's thinking because you might damage your disc so it's saying don't turn the power off don't pull it out anything so there we go it's this is what's on that disc that's the the lip balm holder and tells me what hoop size I need 
if I want to print that or go ahead and embroider that out, I just hit that one. It's telling me the size of the hoop and hit enter and it gets it ready as it is. I have it ready to go. So we'll start that off and we'll I'll do it all and we'll show you how it works. So all right, we'll put that in. That okay, and then if you come back over to the screen here, it's got all of the different um steps that you need to take. So put that down. I'm gonna push start and it's gonna do what's called a an outline or a tacking stitch to show us where we need to put our vinyl. It's only take a second. Okay, so that's finished. We'll snip our cottons and we'll come back over here. use vinyl like so and I'll get these into place and I'll show you the next step soon okay <gasps> what? all right so coming to the end of this sewing now that's it oops it. so this is just um, to show you what you can make you make things like this so it's got front and back. You come over here and take it out. This gives you an idea, you know, what you can do with this machine. So you use sticky tape to hold that in place. So it's sewn it on the back and on the front. I'm going to just cut the stray. It's hard to see because the cotton blends in. So I just cut that off. Um, then I'm just going to cut around and I'm going to start from here. Okay. So, like so. You get better at this the more you do it. Sort of rushing this one a little bit. Just take your time. Okay, we we'll might pause it and we'll come back. Okay, so I've finished cutting it out. Now I want to finish making the snap tab so that it can close up. So with my all, all, stab a hole through, put the snap tab in, put the bottom on, get the squisher, put it in and squeeze. Okay, so there we go. And we have the snap tab and we'll get a lip balm which I've got behind me here. You can just pop the lip balm in, like so, close it up. But what you can do also, I have D-rings, so you put that on there, there, and you can clip it to your bag or something like that, and you'll always have your, you know, lip balm with you. So that's just an... Um, to show you something that you can do with it. There's another one more thing I just want to go through before we finish this video is sometimes I've read um, online that people have trouble with the the cotton bunching up and stuff like that. What I found is if I put the cotton on this spool here when it comes off the spool sometimes it twists and if you get a twisted bit that looks a little bit like that and it goes in through here it gets stuck in here so what I have is a stand so I have my spool comes up through here and I have this little 
I don't know what you call it, but a little thing on here where it goes through so that as the cotton comes up and it's got a, like there, it's got a loop in it. Can you see that? That loop, that's what would cause problems. But as it comes through, it gets rid of that loop. And I find that that helps and works good with this machine. Um, this does not come, with, I'm not selling this with the machine, but you can purchase them from most um, machine places like Spotlight or something like that. I'm sure you can get them from there. There's a few online places as well. And that's it for that. Thank you.